Hello, this is Laura Holmgren with the Polytechnic School EdTech Instructional Screencast on Annotating with a Kindle Application. This presentation provides information on how to highlight text and add notes and how to transfer your annotations to a document. Let's start with marking up the text. When you find a passage you like to mark, click and drag the cursor over the lines. Release the mouse button and a number of options will appear. Select Highlight. If you'd like to add a note, select a word or a passage and then choose Add Note. Enter your text into the box and click Save. Another handy tool to know about is the dictionary. Double click a word and the definition will appear. Let's look at how to highlight on an iPad. Tap and hold the text. Use the magnifying tool to place your cursor precisely. Drag your finger or stylus over the passage and release. Then tap and hold the highlighted text. The option toolbar will appear. You can change the color of the highlight, add a note, or delete the highlighting. Notes may be typed into the box. If you are using an iPad 3 or newer, or an iPad mini, you may also speak your note by clicking on the microphone icon on the keyboard. Click Save when you're finished. Tap in the top margin of the screen to access the main controls. As in the computer versions, the book icon provides Go To and View options. Tap My Notes and Marks to see a list of your annotations. In this last section of the video, you'll learn how to transfer your annotations to a document. First, Point your browser at kindle.amazon.com. Click Your Highlights and sign in. On this page, you'll see all the highlights and notes for all of your Kindle books and documents. On a computer, place your cursor at the beginning of the text, click, and drag over the text. Right-click and copy the text to your clipboard. You can use the shortcut Ctrl-C on PCs and Command C on Macs to save time. On an iPad, tap and hold and then use the resizing handles to highlight the text. Click Copy. You're going to paste the text into a document. In this video, we're using a Google Doc, but the process is the same in any word processing program or text editor. Create a new document. Place your cursor in the document and click Edit. Then click on the Paste option. You can use Control or Command V to speed the process. Once the text is in the document, you'll want to clean it up. You could highlight and delete each bit of unwanted information, but there's a quicker way. Use the Find and Replace tool. First, highlight and copy one occurrence of the repeated information to be deleted. Then use the Edit menu, or Control or Command H, to access the tool. Paste the text into the Find field and leave the Replace field empty. Click Replace All to delete every instance of the text automatically. Repeat this process for Add a Note Text and Read Note at this location. Since the location numbers are not repeated throughout the document, you can leave them. In Word 2010 on a PC, the Find Replace tool can be found at the right side of the Home tab. Control H also works. In Word 2010 on a Mac, use the search pull-down at the top right and click on Replace. This will open a new pane on the left side of your document. In Pages on an iPad, use the Tools menu to access Find. This will open another window. The tool does not remove every instance automatically, but it's still more efficient than highlighting and deleting each repetition individually. Tap the Replace button and then the Next Instant button to move through the document quickly. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching and happy reading!